Hello and welcome to Best WP7 Games. Today we're taking a look at Hasta la Muerte. A, um, it's actually a French game, despite the title. It's a game where you play as a little Grim Reaper demon thing. I'm just going to pop into the options screen here because I'd recalibrate the controls. As uh, this is a tilt controlled game. Unfortunately, holding it up to a camera uh, makes it a little bit difficult to get this at a decent angle. So I do apologise if this isn't head on in front of the camera. Uh, and of course, for the fact it's generally going to be moving around as I tilt to control the game, there's not really much I can do about that. It is worth noting, of course, that this, this does mean the game does have the option to recalibrate the center position, which is very good. An awful lot of games don't, um, with tilt sensitivity, which always strikes me as a very bad idea. But at least this allows you to um, set it according to your needs. Anyway. So, make this little loading screen to go through. This is the very first level. So it's very simple. In fact, I've got an ability to run here. Um, so, so you see, as I tilt, my character moves around. He's got a little blue leg thing following him. That is a soul pet, which gives him the ability to run. Normally you wouldn't have this on the first level, but because I've uh, played through more of the game, uh, you unlock all your abilities and they become backward compatible. In fact, I've just got an S ranking on this level, which was impossible the first time through. Uh, only made possible because of the ability to run. So this is a game which encourages replaying, at least for certain levels, where uh, going back to them later when you've got new abilities allows you to complete them more efficiently um, and get higher scores. So again, the first few levels there are quite simple. Gradually introduces new concepts to you. Um, you notice these little dotted lines, uh, which mean a sort of cutaway segments where you can uh, pass through them, but other figures in the game can't. And certainly if you didn't catch the idea of the game, it's that you're playing a sort of Grim Reaper uh, character, and you've got to harvest all the blue souls. Um, normal black, um, not silhouetted, uh, stick figure characters are living. You're not meant to harvest them because they're not yet dead. <laughs> you wait until they turn blue, at which point they're ready for you to uh, take their souls. However, if you do accidentally um, I mean, there's a timer that appears above their heads, and if you don't actually get to them in time, then, well, you'll see what happens. Wait around a little bit, and then the souls sort of expire and become lost souls, these little gribbly monster things. These will attack you. However, with my one of my other abilities, again from a later level, is the ability to turn invisible to them. So you saw they just had question marks ahead of their heads and got confused. And if you do run into them, you get hurt. Uh, you have three. You can take three hits, and then it's the end of the level. If I just explain that concept now, uh, letting the time run down isn't the only way to generate lost souls. If you eat, if you attack, there we go. A living person, they turn in immediately into a lost soul, which means that when you're rushing through levels quickly, you have to try and um, avoid any living figures. You have to be quite careful. I don't know if you saw it there, and I also used one of my other soul pets, which is a little pink-legged thing, which uh, attracts nearby souls and uh, living people too, towards you. Uh, this becomes important in later levels, as it allows you to attract the living into uh, spots which will cause them to become souls for you to harvest, uh, and also to attract um, the souls of people into little caged areas where you need to send them in order to... Um, well, you want to unlock gates, but it's also involved in uh, in helping you defeat bosses, because there are, in fact, boss levels in this game. The boss levels are quite nice. And, in fact, as the game gets more complex, there are a few nice ideas in it. Unfortunately, none of these really make up for the fact that tilt controls are not the ideal controls for this game. Or for the fact that an awful lot of the levels don't involve any such clever ideas. And are, in fact, little more than just slogs. It's a real shame because this is, as you can see, a really unique looking title. And it's a very interesting art style. I quite like it, um, you may not. But it's just wasted on a game which, if it had a better control system and a little bit more quality control on the levels, could have been something special. As it is, it's available on the marketplace now.